very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain, and today we will learn about the Calibre ebook management in digital library system. We will download and install the Calibre ebook management on Ubuntu 20.04 and Windows 10. So, but before we start, we have a brief introduction about the Calibre ebook management. Calibre ebook management is one of the easiest free and open source digital library system or we can say an ebook library manager designed by the Kuwait Goel on 31st October 2006. Soon after the release of Sony PRS, Sony PRS 500, that's actually the very first e-ink based reader to be sold commercially in the US. Here we have a brief history about the Calibre. Calibre started as Lip PRS 500. That's actually a converter to convert the most popular ebook format to LRF. LRF is one of the file format usually contain uh, Sony broadband ebook information and that's actually text and images. Uh, Lip PRS actually produced, we can say Lip PRS 500 produced the very first generation of book in the LRF format. So the Lip PRS 500 was renamed to Calibre in mid in the mid 2008 with a graphical interface now it's used in over 100 countries and has been translated into many languages i mean different languages by volunteer so here we have few features about the caliber ebook management uh, when i complete the downloading and installation i'll show you how many features caliber has so Calibre ebook manager can preserve, the very first thing can preserve, organize and disseminate the ebook collection. It can download, view, convert and catalog ebook in most of the major ebook format like EPUB and the PDF and so many. It can also talk to many ebook reader devices. Uh, Calibre can go out to the internet and fetch metadata for your books. So there no, there's no need to catalog yourself. It can download newspaper and convert them into ebook for convenient reading. Calibre is a cross-platform application. That's very important. Cross-platform application running on Linux or Windows and Mac OS, or whatever the operating system you have. So uh, let us start. First, we will download and install the Calibre on Windows, and then we will move toward the Ubuntu system. There we need to open our web browser. Okay. And there's just need to write the caliber ebook management. And the very first link you can see it's caliber ebook management. And there you can see the shortcut to download, get involved, Windows, help, demo system, about, and see more. So you just need to click here. On the main website and there you can see if you want to learn about the caliber so you can learn more about the caliber then demo system if you want to check the demo before installation so you can check the demo and the download and help and what's new and get involved if you are a developer you can get involved the bugs and this result i mean the solution of bugs and languages if you need language support so you can visit there and the support caliber you can donate caliber as well so just click on download and choose your operating system it's work on windows mac os linux and even you can use portable usb flash drive so we have windows 64 bit and you can use on android and um, uh, ios i mean the iphone so just click on windows uh, 64 bit or if you have 34 bit so you 32 bits so you can use this just click here so the, just click on the download caliber 64 bit and uh, alternate downloads is also available location is also available here and you can read caliber works on windows 8 and 10 so just click here So you can see the uh, setup has begun. I mean, the downloading has begun. And let me open my Ubuntu till the downloading may complete. Let me open my Ubuntu system. So stay with me. 
So here we are on Ubuntu 20.04. To download and install the Calibre ebook management, we need to open the Calibre ebook management website. You just need to open your web browser. And you just need to write Calibre ebook management. And click on very first link and download. There you need to select Linux because Ubuntu is very famous distribution of Linux. And now you can read more about this. You can see the latest release of Calibre is 4.16. Uh, you can check what new what's new and you can read this message please do not use your distribution provided caliber package as those are often buggy slash outdated instead use the binary install describe blue so you can check this is actually binary uh, caliber has a binary install that includes private versions of all its dependencies so it includes all its dependencies it's run on 32 bits or 62 bit and uh, to install or upgrade simply copy paste the following command on a terminal and press enter so you just need to copy paste this command and you can support caliber you can support open source system so and you can also actually install caliber from ubuntu software ubuntu software is one of the app similar like google play store on your android phone or the windows app store on your windows system so you can click on ubuntu software but as i read this message is actually maybe outdated so you need to check first so you can see this is actually ubuntu software you can check install software and update it if there are any update required and you can explore so you can see the games, utilities, health, fitness, finance, news, weather, education, book, references and lots more actually. So we just need to search Calibre. There you can see a uh, lots of varieties available for caliber caliber and the caliber ebook viewers caliber ebook editor lrf viewers so just click on this but you have to check either it's updated or not before installing so you can see it's actually 4.12 uh, and it's never updated see so you have to go on the caliber website provided link just copy this i mean this command and you need to open your terminal so you can press ctrl alt t and then you need to log in with your admin account sodo so and the password and before you paste that command you need to update and upgrade your system and
and then you can paste that command just click right from your mouse and paste and press enter installing you can see oh it's completed 26 percent so you can see uh, it will actually download and install the caliber 4.16 so let the process complete. So now it has completed 99% and now the downloaded downloading is completed and it's actually extracting files and application files. The directory is opt uh, backslash caliber. So you can you can remember this. You may remember this. Okay. So setting up desktop in integration. Okay. So you can support caliber if you want to support. There you can see there's a message actually so now it has completed so the downloading and installation is completed now so let me close this first Let's exit okay now it's actually starting up please wait okay so here we are on staff interface of caliber ebook management where we can add book we can edit metadata we can convert book i mean book format we can read book we can get book means we can download books and we can actually donate if you want to donate caliber you can donate you can support open source system and you can fetch news help if you need any help you can read manual which is already available here it's actually quick card uh, guidebook and uh, caliber library i mean where you have actually saved the library and this is actually a staff interface to come on user interface you need to connect your caliber system see you need to connect your caliber system uh, to server a uh, web server and then you can um, disseminate your ebooks collection through the user interface i'll show you how it's quite easy actually so this is all about the caliber we have downloaded and installed a caliber ebook management on ubuntu 20.04 now let's come to windows system so now we are back to windows and uh, our download has completed we just click on this download and you can see it has started there you need to accept the terms of in the license agreement and install now it's actually asking you permission you must have admin rights and then you press uh, yes you might see the black screen but we have yes or no dialogues so you have to press yes and then it has it has started Okay, copying new file, creating shortcuts, and, 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 and. Finish. So you can launch Caliber. And you can see this is the icon.
it's actually launching so now we are at the welcome page there you can select the language and you can select the location and you can change the library name it's caliber library you can change and uh, to do that you just need to create a folder in your c drive in your user for example ref limits So now you can see this and next and there you can select the device you can go with generic if you have Amazon you have Android whatever the device you have you have Apple so you just go with generic right now and you have configure you can see the demo video you can read the manual for further and the finish now it's actually initializing so it has started now we are at the same admin panel of the caliber add books added metadata you can convert books view get books donate and the feature news help remove books and this is your library actually that you have created save to disk and you can go on user interface you can connect this connect to folder there you need to connect with this start connect server and you have to allow this actually So now you can see we are connected. We are online right now. Let me show you. And we are available on this server. It's actually 192.168.1.103 and the port 8080. So you can customize this and you can actually use the email based sharing of books. So uh, let me show you. Just open your web browser and there you need to write 192. 168.1.103 and the port number 8080 let me confirm one again once again it's 192.168.1.103 and the port number 8080 so okay and there just need to press enter and your library is online so you can see it's caliber we have one book right now it's a default book and you you will uh, you can share this to your user this is actually your user panel and this one is your staff panel so and this one is your user panel from there your user can use your books and you can add any other library if you want to you can switch and you can create new library and i'll show you in next video how we can actually add books and metadata and convert books and how we can download free books and lots more thing about the connection about the server and i'll show you and thank you very much for watching raflims this is swarov hosan uh, stay tuned thank you very much